Good morning, it's Tuesday. That means it's time for Try It Out Tuesday. But before we get started with today's installment, let's talk about last week's when we made butter. Okay, so the butter that we made last week was so perfect. We've still got lots of it left, as you can see in here. It has been so wonderful. It was pretty much the perfect recipe. Even though I probably used a little too much salt <laughs> when I initially made my butter, it turned out so good. I was even able to use the buttermilk, even though it was very little, uh, in a buttermilk biscuits recipe that I made for Easter Sunday. I actually made a knockoff or a copycat of Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay Biscuits. They were perfect. And so it was cool to be able to use everything from my Try It Out Tuesday last week, not just the butter, but actually the buttermilk. And it says that the butter is good for a long time, which is good because it made about a pound of butter. It does not spread well easily at all, but what butter does. I would love to be able to learn to make a spreadable butter, but I still want it to be actually butter. So anyway, I loved this. This is probably my favorite Try It Out Tuesday so far. It just made something that's very useful and cheap and healthy for me in moderation. <laughs> and so let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so for today's Try It Out Tuesday video, what I'm gonna do is actually make coconut milk. Now, I don't want you to confuse that with coconut water. There is a difference. Coconut water is what you find inside the actual coconut, you know, the liquid that's in there. I did, that, I did that recently, it was not very yummy. <laughs> I got one of those easy break coconuts from the store and uh, thought, well, you know, it was like 250 or something. I figured <clears throat> it's worth a try. I broke open the coconut and I poured it through, poured the, the coconut water through a filter and cheesecloth and all of that and it was the nastiest tasting stuff. So I figured after that I would just stick with my trusty um, Amy and Brian's coconut water or I think it's called Z Zero or Zemo or something like that coconut water. I've tried several different brands and I've been pleased with those so I think I'll just stick with those. But coconut milk is different. What coconut milk is is shredded coconut actually from the coconut and then um, I guess just mixed with, with water, which is basically what we're going to do today. The only problem is when you buy coconut milk, even in the health food stores, when you buy coconut milk in the box with the, with the little spout on it, Tetra Pak I think is what they call it, it actually has a, an ingredient on there called carrageenan, which I think is how you pronounce it. And it is actually a known carcinogen, I thought. And by the way, that's a cancer-causing ingredient. And I thought, why in the world would I put that in my body if I knew that it had a known carcinogen in it, especially if I could make it for myself. So I wanted to try to attempt that today. I got this idea from Mama Natural, if you've ever seen her on YouTube. She has a fantastic channel. I would definitely encourage you to check her out. Um, but we're gonna be making that today. So let's go for it. Okay, so all we're gonna need for this recipe is a blender. Mine is not the greatest, but hopefully it'll do the job. We have some Bob's Red Mill unsweetened uh, shredded coconut. I looked everywhere for this and I was finally able to find it at Big Lots for $3.99. Random, I know. Got a measuring glass. Have a bowl and a uh, colander. It's not fine mesh, but I have in the bag, some cheesecloth to serve as a filter. And then I'm going to be storing my coconut milk in this Pampered Chef small batter bowl. Oh, and I should mention, I also have on the stove a pot of boiling water. So we'll start by measuring two cups of boiling water. I'm gonna pour that into the blender. Probably 
should have measured the coconut first, but oh well. There you go. It smells so good. Probably have to add a little bit more because some will get stuck to the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I'll just add a little bit more. All right. this just a little bit put on the lid I'm gonna grab a towel all right let's go for it That it's better. I'm gonna take it and pour it into. I have this mixing bowl with a colander and some cheesecloth on top. Just pour it in here. I don't know if you can hear over my baby screaming, <laughs> but there is some milk that is dropping down into the bowl. I'm just gonna pat this down a little bit, let it, let gravity do its work. And I'll come back in maybe about 20 minutes or so and check on it. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and I've pressed out Probably close to what I can of the milk. However, if I take some of this in between my fingers and squeeze, I do get a little bit of that milk out there. So um, this may be the best I can do. Well, let's see how much we yield in. Yeah, not much. I didn't think it'd be very much. Got about this much coconut milk, coconut milk out of it, um, which would be fine, like um, in a smoothie or even, excuse me, even maybe on some cereal. Personally, I really like the coconut milk in smoothies um, and even to drink sometimes. However, the, and the, if I'm gonna drink it, I'm gonna want the sweetened. If I'm just gonna put it in a smoothie with other sweet things, I'll have the unsweetened. So I think if I, this is still pretty thick. This is probably close to maybe what you would find like in a can probably. If I had added more water, it'd probably be more um, more thin, but we'll give this a test drive in a smoothie and see what we think. All right, so we'll see what we can do today with making a smoothie with our coconut milk, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I have a question. Have you ever made coconut milk? Do you like coconut milk? Have you ever needed to switch to something that's non-dairy? Um, if you have, please be sure to leave a comment below and let me know. Like this video and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, never forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.